right now, there are over three million sunken ships underwater. Oh, no! Even the most experienced boat engineers have had their hard work sink to the dark depths of the ocean. Today, there's a chance that there will be three million and two sunken ships because my brother and I, two unqualified dudes, are gonna attempt to design, build, and furnish two fully functional tiny houseboats. The first one will have 100 hours to complete and the other, only one hour. If they manage to float, we must survive the night and them on the lake in order to win this challenge. The one hour boat build begins now. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Chris, we have one hour. How are we gonna do this? Since we only have one hour, we need to quickly find a flotation device, materials for a shelter, food, and sleeping supplies. Do you have any ideas right now? Oh, Chris, 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 we should make it at a cardboard boxes and a PVC pipe. Oh, that's a good idea. While Chris got his materials for our build, I headed to Walmart to get food and sleeping supplies. The first thing I can think of for floating is an air mattress. Have a nice day. All right, we got everything in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna head back down to the now. It starts with the frame. I just spotted Chris. He's right here. Jeffrey's here. <laughs> Bro, Chris, how much time do we have left? 22 minutes. Oh, dude, dude. hurry okay, up. Chris, I have to blow up the air mattress. I gotta blow up the air mattress. Oh, it does have a pump. Thank goodness. Hopefully this works. Heck yes. Chris made it way too big, so he's making it smaller. We got 17 minutes, bro. How many put this up? Oh, dude, that's perfect length. Dude, dude that's perfect. perfect length. Okay, we have five minutes to get this thing on the mattress. Dude, Chris, why is this so janky? Who cares? It's a skylight. Put it on the mattress. Hope it fits. Crap, it's too long. It's too long. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Where's the duct tape? Get to, get to. Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna make a door right here. Jeff, this is very bad. Pillows, blanket. You can eat, you can sleep, you can float. That's all you need. Jeff. What? Did you get paddles, bro? I forgot paddles, dude. <laughs> I forgot paddles. <laughs> Three minutes left. Chris, someone's gonna have to survive in this overnight. The way that we're gonna determine who gets what boat is by a coin flip. That's it. So we both wanna make this good. Chris, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna duct tape around it. One minute, dude, one minute. We need to be able to lift it up so I can get under it. Oh, Chris, if there's a gap here, we can go under it. Good idea, good idea. Dude, dude, take it. That didn't go anywhere. Chris. Three, two, one, time. What is this? We're out of time, this is our houseboat, bro. Okay, well, here's the thing. It floats, I think it's gonna float. It's got a house, so you can have shelter. There's sandwiches in there so you can eat. And there's pillows in there so you can sleep in a, in a sleeping bag. So it's a houseboat. Now it's time to move on to the 100 hour houseboat where we'll have plenty of time to build this thing. Ready? Yep. See this? Yeah. I look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Ha! Hey, it's gonna fall over. No, it won't. We'll have to get another cart. It's not gonna fall over. You overthink things sometimes. No, I don't. <laughs> you do. No, I don't. Just watch, some unsuspecting grandma's gonna get hit by a pile of wood. Dude, this is so much stuff. I told you! I told you! I told you it was gonna fall. Ah! Just watch me suffer. I have to film. It's for the content. Okay, so here's the deal. We may have 100 hours for this boat, but the problem is it's gonna be raining the next couple of days. So we do have this canopy right here. But the rain will definitely slow us down. So we really gotta hustle. You hear that, Jeff? What? You got it? What? You got it? What? Good news, we finished the flotation in only a couple of hours. Now we're gonna add tongue groove, which has a really nice wood design, and we're gonna stain that later. Let's get into it. It rained and it's really cold out. Dude, it's a muddy wasteland. But today is day two. So we have about 75 hours left, 74 hours. Wait, what, what's the math? 20, 20, uh, 20, 20. Yesterday it started at 9 a.m., right? Yesterday it's 9 a.m. now, so that was 24 hours ago. Right. So now we're gonna take these planks and we're gonna attach them onto the wall here. Right, Chris? Right. You're not a plank. Put dude. me on there. Chris, you're not a plank. Get out. Oh. We're also gonna put plywood on the bottom. It's gonna look beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad that we get separate boats. <laughs> well, this 
This is starting to look like a home. It is home. That depends on if you win the coin flip. So what you doing here, bud? These are going to be vertical posts, and then we're going to build a little awning, and we're going to put a roof on it, and then it's going to be giving a shade. Going to screw these brackets in. Ah! Got no wash screw. <laughs> After completing this build with hours to spare, whoever gets to spend the night in this houseboat is gonna have a very luxurious stay. I think we're both really nervous for the coin toss now. Time to load both boats up and head to the water. This is it, this is what we've been I know. waiting for. Now it's time for the coin flip. How does it work? I'm gonna flip it in the air and you call it in the air and that's yours. If you win, you get to choose what boat you want. Heads. Hey! No! I'm taking the nice boat. Shoot, Obviously, dude. this thing is luxurious. Well, it looks like this one's mine. Oh my god. Oh, dude! Whoa, it's floating! Oh my god. Only time will tell if these boats will survive the night. I love Captain Sight. <laughs> dude, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Honestly, it's feeling kind of deflated. Your boat looks so awful. Don't say that. I honestly think I'm gonna sleep very well in here. So that's our next objective. If we want our houseboats to be successful, we have to spend the night on this lake. All right, so home tour, um, this is it. You know, nice and spacious, not sponsored by Home Depot. If it was windy out here, this boat would be done for sure. So you got our, you know, great little lights up here to give the, the porch a nice feel. I got a great little seat right there, which is quite nice for me Can to I sit, sit on it. No. Come in, I got myself a little desk. I got this battery system connected to solar. This is a little stove for eating. And yeah, it's really a very nice little thing we got going on here. I like it. I'm gonna turn that heater on, make it nice and toasty in here. And I'm also gonna fire up my grill and make some breakfast burritos for dinner. Good night, Jeff. Well, I'm gonna get some sleep because it's been a long day and a long week for, uh, building a boat that I don't even get to be a part of. So <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow if this thing still is afloat. So this 100 hour boat has been really great so far. Breakfast bit are great. This thing feels stable. I feel like I'm gonna have a really great night's sleep. I'm really happy I have my heater tonight. It's gonna keep me warm. I'm gonna hit the hay because it's about midnight and we'll see how she does overnight. What we didn't know is that while we were sleeping, one of our boats started filling with water. Bro, Jeff's boat is sinking. Oh, dude, look how crooked it is. Shoot. Hey, Jeff. Chris, my boat is tipping. I know. I think maybe the barrels are filling with water. We better get out of here quick. That's not good. Made it through the night, though. We made it through the night. It wasn't too bad. Luckily, before my boat sunk completely, our team took us back to shore. And we're thankful on this day that there are only three million sunken boats and not three million in two.